Yeah, what's good? It's your boy Cito, man, back with another vlog, man. Shout out to the whole battle rap community, man. Yo, man, y'all see this particular blog right here, man. So I was trying to wait until Smack dropped the full card, Redemption 2. Um, he just announced, man. I mean, Kid Slade. Kid Slade is back. Kid Slade is back. He's going up against possibly champion of the year. Top number one, number two contender. Arguably has not lost a round. Shotgun should, man. Listen, man. I knew Slade was about to get a battle. Um, I figured he might would have been on the outside card, but because Tay Rock was on it, they probably didn't want to mesh and put them two in the same building. But I knew he was going to get a plate. I thought it was going to be the, maybe the realms of a T top. But, um,. But keep it real, man. Like, this is a very dangerous battle for both parties, man. Um, let me start. It's a couple of reasons why I feel this is a dangerous battle. Um, you know, Shug. Let me start with Shug. Shug, you... The scrutiny, you know, around, you know, a lot of the top names. Basically saying that, you know, they're not going to battle Kid Slade because of the stigma he has. And they don't support, they don't condone, you know, telling per se, and you know, all, all this, you know, all, all these things that that they're saying that they have control over, and all of them stick it together, and they're not going to battle Slade. So Shug is the first, you know, top tier to kind of break that code. Um, but it's like Shug, man, you, this is very dangerous, man, because now it's on you to really, like put the nail in the coffin and really finish what rock didn't you know what i'm saying like you you know damn near about to possibly almost maybe get champion of the year you know you haven't really lost a battle you just had a great performance when she happens prior to that you've had flawless performances you know and i'm pretty sure you want to keep that momentum going into the new year if you were to take a loss and maybe a bad loss from Kid Slade, him fresh off the victory from Tate Rock, that would really hurt your stock, bro. You, that would really, really hurt you. You know, it's not like, not only you losing to Slade, but, you know, like I said, the stigma that he has in the culture with like 50 50, and niggas gonna be like, damn, they can't beat this nigga. Like, you know, so it's like, you, you gotta, you know, got a lot riding, man. You kinda gotta really, you gotta really beat Slade. Really have to beat him. Then I go to Slade. You know, you want an uphill fight too. You know, like this is just my personal opinion, man. It's like, you know, you got to deal with the trolls and shit. You know, and you, you know you got the trolls on the internet, but you want to deal with the trolls in the building. You know, niggas screaming wild shit from the crowd, motherfuckers trying to heckle you and distract you and try to throw you off your game while you trying to get your bars off on stage. Like, you got to be flawless it can't be no chokes no stumbles no rewinding it back no oh my bad man you gotta be clean as a whistle bro like i'm telling you you have no room for fuck ups with this battle because the first slip up is over i think they're gonna give you a chance but the first sign of you in trouble they on your ass lady i'm telling you and you battling one of the worst crowds one of the worst cities, respectfully. I love ATL. I love Atlanta. But when it comes to battle rap, this is one of the worst places to have an event, bro. Like, like the like just look at the history from multiple leagues. From URL. Like the Atlanta crowd has ruined events. They ruined like potential classic matchups because of niggas heckling, booing. Niggas talking through niggas rounds. Like they done this shit on RBE. Hell, they even did it with uh John John Adana Ace on me. And that's their hometown league. Like, Atlanta's one of the I would not win a battle in Atlanta, bro. I'm sorry. Like, them niggas is them them niggas is like they it's like they don't fuck with battle rap. Like, why are you at the event? I don't know, man, but I feel like Slade, you gotta deal with that shit, you know. 
it's, it's just so much shit. It's so much. It's a lot of pressure on you, bro. It's a lot of pressure on you to go in there and win this battle. You either gotta win this battle convincingly, or put on a phenomenal performance where it's like a debatable classic. You know. I don't see you having an issue as far as with the rah rah shit, like how Tay Rock was. Shug is not that type of dude, but I feel like Shug, Shug, Shug is, Shug, is, Shug can get very disrespectful. And I feel like when he hits you with that "What's your life like?" I feel like it's going, it's going to hit. I feel like it's going to hit that "What's your, what is life like?" <laughs> Yo, <laughs> what's that side note? Right, I was watching Av versus um, Shotgun Shug. I was in the building for that battle too, by the way. Oh my God, Shug's first round, flawless, flawless. Oh my God, Shug going in one of them rounds. Oh, it's a long night for you, Slade. Fuck with you, you from the town. But I got it, I got to I got to keep it real. I got to be objective. I got to be objective, man. I got Shug two one, man. I got Shug two one, man. I feel like Shug is super hungry. Shug is not lost. Every battle Shug has pretty much Took his performance And is riding to the next level man Like this nigga damn near About to win champion of the year and I feel like every battle he's been taking He's been motivated So I feel like he's even more motivated to kill you Just with the stigma and everything that's going on And the pressure alone Like I feel like he's going to write his best material And I feel like you're going to write your best material too Which I feel like it's not going to be clear It's going to be a really tight tight battle but i got shug taking the first and i got shug possibly taking the third you know like i said slay you gotta be flawless my g you gotta be flawless it should i mean slade is nice like slade is nice i feel like slade is he's he's elevated as well every time he's battled but i feel like shug is just like he's he's on a different level right now yo he's on a different level man but it's gonna be a goodie man like i this 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 damn near is like the main event, in my opinion. This damn near the main event. Should be. I don't know what else they releasing on the card. I know they got Charlie Clips versus Danny Myers. Uh Swamp versus Clean uh Clean Paper. I think that's all they released so far. But it's gonna be a goodie, man. I just hope ATL don't fuck this battle up, man, because they've known to fuck up cards, fuck up matchups, man. And you know, Slay, man. I no, you dealing with a lot, man, but stay focused, my G. Stay focused. I know they, it's, the test is coming, man. Stay focused, man. And sure, there's a lot of pressure on you, man, to, to, to beat Slade, man. It's a lot of pressure, man. But let me know in the comment section, man. Let me know what y'all think, man. Like, what do y'all think about my opinion on Slade, my opinion on Shug? Do you feel like this is a very dangerous battle for both MCs? You know, do you, who do you feel like is going to win this? Or who do you feel like is going to really take a domino hit if they lose this battle? Let me know in the comments section, man. You know, I'm on my truckers edition shit, you know. <laughs> Get into the bag. Shout out to all my truckers out there. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Support the channel. It's your boy, Acito. I'm out of here. Peace.